Hey everyone, Rob back here with Falker Sports Cards, and today we've got a uh, PSA return uh, reveal day. So this was a 24 card submission for the uh, the New Year special that was $15 a card. I think the value that you could go up to was $250 uh, for the card at PSA 10. Essentially, I didn't get any upcharges, um, so I don't. I, I didn't really send anything that was gonna potentially challenge it. Maybe a couple. But uh, so we'll see. Um, we'll see if, if, if those graded out well or not. Um, but yeah, so looking forward to opening this up. We've got 24 cards, like I said, and um, we're going to be. I, I, so this took a lot longer. I, I had uh, an order that I submitted that was received three days after this. It was a 10 card order for the same special. And that got received back February 23rd. Uh, this is just getting received back now. So maybe maybe they're prioritizing uh, smaller orders. But it is what it is. I got this back. I also have one that I'm getting back from uh, someone else that I submitted with. Uh, that's another 24 cards. Should be getting, coming back next week, hopefully. So I'll be looking forward to uh, doing another reveal next week. And here we go. Let's get this going. So came in two boxes. This one seems really full, and this one seems pretty light. So... I assume they just uh, oh, didn't fully cut. I assume they just um, couldn't fit it all in one. Didn't want to use one of the big boxes. So, all right, here we go. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, let's go ahead and grab these out of here. They pack it so tight. I am just going to cut this. You guys can just fast forward if you want. <laughs> All right, there we go. Put those down here. Let's open up this one. This is going to be the bigger one. All right, here we go. So which way are these going to be going? This is going to be going uh, this way. Okay. Let's get these all out. spoil anything turn it over all right there we go here we go all right so that took long enough two minutes in let's put this off to the side let's actually put this on top of here 24 cards here we go so first one here is a ah okay so this is a spencer torkelson rookie card from heritage it's the uh image variation you can see there image variation so rookie card let's see i mean it looked really good out of the pack i packed this this card and the corners looked excellent the the um the centering was awesome the back even looked good too there might have been a little bit of whiting down here on the back and maybe over here but uh let's see what she gets ah nine okay so yeah these are really tough because of the back they're all black and they they white a lot on the corners so nine i'll take that put the nines down there <clears throat> all right this one is gonna be a uh, another holiday a jackson holiday this is just a first chrome it looked pretty good i, th I think i might have sent two in this order i'm not sure all right let's see hey, a 10 all right i'll take that that's my second chrome uh 10 of his that's a good one i like that <clears throat> this is ah this is a cool one this is from 2023 bowman uh, I'm sorry, 2020 Bowman Chrome. So this is, uh, he had a first, he had his first autographs in 2020 Bowman, but this is Bowman Chrome. It's an insert auto. It's the Stat Tracker autograph. Um, 44, 48 out of 99 on card. So this is technically his first uh, Bowman year, but just not his first Bowman product. This card I know had a couple of print lines on it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's a lower grade, but we shall see. Hey, all right, I'll take that. PSA 10 on a Bobby Witt Bowman autograph to 99 stat tracker auto sweet so that's interesting that uh print lines don't really mean much you can actually see it I don't know if you guys can see it uh yeah you can't really see it on camera but I can see it in person there's a print line going down here and there's another one going down here the striations that you see uh, that's actually just the design on the card but there are a couple of print lines going that way but uh happy that they uh they overlooked that and gave me a 10 there all right second 10 of the night there here we go. This is an interesting one. This was a uh, this is a Justin Verlander 2006 Retro Lucky 13 rookie card from Fleer Ultra. 
Uh, not expecting much out of this. I found this in a bin of really old cards from when I was collecting back in the late 2000s, or I guess mid 2000s. Um, so I'm expecting maybe like a seven or an eight on this. We'll see. I mean, it looked pretty good. So nine. All right. I'll take a nine. Yeah, absolutely. Can't complain about a nine from a card from 2006 that was literally just sitting in a shoe box for God knows how long, probably since 2006. All right. That's a good, that's a good start. All right, here we go. This is going to be a Bobby Miller gold card from 2023 tops update. These are tough. I, ha I submitted a Yuri Perez in the last uh, reveal video that I did, a uh, gold card, and that got a an 8, I think. Uh, these have kind of a similar situation with... Um, golds have a similar situation as those, that Heritage card does because the you, know, you can see whiting on the gold uh, portions a lot. So we'll see if this gets a good grade. All right, 10, sweet. Okay, so that's cool. It's a good one to have. He could have a breakout year this year with the Dodgers with that rotation that they have. He could he could kind of just fly under the radar as their, what, number four pitcher? Number four starter, potentially. All right, what's next here? We got a Edgar Cuero. This is a cool one. So he's kind of a uh, an up-and-comer in the uh, Angels organization. He's been doing okay down in, in the minors. He's young. He was born in 2003, so he's still got probably a ways to go. But this is the... Uh, green Shimmer autograph I pulled out of a blaster pack, I believe. Um, green Shimmer, Green... Yeah, I think it's Green Shimmer. Oh, yeah, it says right here, Green Shimmer, duh. So let's see what it gets. A 10, all right, I'll take that. That's a good one. Definitely take that. That just made this card about a $200 card, so definitely uh, take that for sure. Actually, almost 250 I think this was one of, one, one of the ones that uh, was was kind of up against the, uh, the $250 limit if it got a 10, so... Here we go. We got a Jackson Cheerio. I believe this is just a straight up uh, base. Oh, no, it's not a Chrome. Sorry. This is from uh, Bowman Draft. This is uh, the first edition uh, blue foil at a 150. Obviously, stocking up on some Jackson Cheerio. Uh, the centering wasn't perfect on this, but I noticed that on the first edition for Jackson Cheerio cards, the centering isn't really all that good. Uh, the back centering looked good, so maybe they'll, that's what they'll they'll take a look at and see. Like it, it's, the back centering is really good, but over here you can see it's really thin. It's thinner than it should be, and it's kind of thicker on the top than uh, than it should be. Or actually, not really, but the side is definitely thinner than it should be. Let's see what it gets. An eight, yeah, okay. So I think it's it has to do with the centering because the the surface was pretty damn good on this this card. I will probably wind up uh, cracking that out and uh, just keeping it raw instead because I, I don't think it has any value at eight. But we'll put it down here for the eights. Uh, here was a big test. This was a this was one. I don't remember if you guys saw the video where I was uh, showing off uh, my submission. You know when they were all just in the the card savers, and I was showing off this submission that I was going to be sending. This card I pulled out of Bowman um, uh, Bowman's best this year. It's an Ethan Salas refractor autograph. The centering is is great on it. The corners are awesome. The only thing is, is that, and, and these cards, these Bowman's Best autographs, they always have print lines going down, and there's a bunch of them on this one. I wanted to see what, if, what would happen with the grade on a card that's perfectly centered, the corners are perfect, the edges are perfect, but it just has the print lines. So let's see. A nine, okay. That's what I expected, but I wanted just to see what the print lines would do, and, and obviously get an Ethan Salas refractor autograph into a slab. So I'll take a nine on that. So that's good education right there. <clears throat> Here we go. We got ah, this is a cool one. This is a Bobby Miller rookie autograph um, from 2023 Topps Chrome. I believe this was in Topps Chrome Update though. This was in Topps Chrome Update, but it's the Topps Chrome uh, on card autograph that they put into Topps Chrome Update. Uh, you could see on the back already that it's pretty off center there, and I believe there was some um, print lines as well. You could really see the thick on top. But I wanted to get this graded and see. It's a purple speckle, purple sparkle autograph to 2.99. Okay, got a nine. That's what I expected based off of the uh, the uh, centering here, but <clears throat> I wanted to send it anyway and see. Okay, so we got the same amount of nines as tens right now, so we got to get some more tens here. All right, here's a Kumar Rocker. This is a Aqua Lava autograph. Centering looked pretty good on this. These are tough because uh, it's it's tough to tell with the design of the lava and if there's any uh, print lines on it or not. But um, so I just sent it anyway because you know why not. 15 bucks, right? So this is at a 199 autograph Kumar Rocker. Hey, got a 10. All right, sweet. There we go. Back on the 10 train. All right. Here's uh they they have these all out of order, but I sent a couple of Brock Purdy cards in. This was obviously right before, you know, when right before I guess the Super Bowl. Actually, it was probably a little bit before it was 
right at the Super Bowl, actually. February 2nd is when this was received. So it was the end of January that I sent this off. But this is a Brock Purdy uh, Chronicles uh, photogenic card, just a base. Got an eight. Wow, okay. I don't remember. The, uh, I, wow, look at that. That is a little whiting on the top there. Well, this is probably going to get cracked out for sure. That's worth nothing at it as an eight. Um, I thought this card looked pretty good. I mean, I, I don't remember that corner. I actually took notes on all these cards before I sent them off. I'm going to have to recheck my notes and see if I even mentioned that corner or not. But not look, not happy about an eight there. Here's another possible uh, top rookie this year, Christian Encarnacion Strand. This is his first... Uh, well, it's his first, but it's his first uh, edition blue out of 150 uh, foil. So let's see what this gets. A 9, okay. So I thought that was going to get a 10, honestly. I'll take a 9, though, but I thought that would, that would be a 10. All right, we're not doing too well so far. <clears throat> Got some good 10s, but a little, many, little too much on the 9s there. Oop, I, didn't, did I, I didn't see it, so that's good. But this is a Jefferson Cuero red autograph out of Bowman's Best, uh, number 2 out of 10 from 2021. Really hoping for a 10 here. I don't know, you guys might have seen it already, because I kind of <laughs> screwed that up, but I didn't see it, so let's see. Hopefully this gets a 10. Ah, 9, okay. This was tough, because it's been sitting around for a while, and uh, I didn't notice any... Damn, I can see print lines underneath here, but I don't remember there being print lines on the card. Like I said, I'm going to have to take a look at my notes and see what I can see from my notes from you know, before I sent them off. This is a uh, 2018 Juan Soto Heritage uh, rookie. This has to get a 10 for it to be worth anything. Just wanted to send it off. I actually pack, uh, pulled this in a pack uh, just like, I don't know, six months ago. So figured it was pretty pretty fresh and pretty clean. Got a nine, okay. These are tough too, these Heritage. Again, the back because it's colored, it's all colored. But uh, man, I thought some of these would get 10s. I got a bad grader here. Here's a Sal Stewart. I believe this is a Refractor Auto from 2022 Bowman Draft. Yep, Refractor Auto, uh, number 499. This one really did look good. I remember this one for sure. That's why I sent it. And Sal Stewart is kind of one of those guys that could be coming up pretty soon at some point. So let's see what we get. A 10. Okay, there we go. We're back on the 10 train. I knew that this one would get a 10. If this one got a 9, then I really don't know what I'm looking at. So glad that got a 10. And we're making some money here. <clears throat> Uh, okay, Jordan Walker, 2023, Topps Chrome. This is a purple refractor, true purple, autographed at 250. This is not going to get a 10. I would be very surprised if it got a 10. I wouldn't even be surprised if it got an 8. But I think it'll probably get a 9. The centering is pretty damn good. Um, we could look at the back here. The centering is pretty damn good. Um, I, the only problem with it is that there are print lines, but it's Topps Chrome. There's going to be print lines on a lot of cards, so we'll see if they take that into consideration or not. Yeah, 9. Okay, that's what I figured. I I figured either an 8 or a 9, and I'm happy that I got a 9. I would have been surprised at a 10. Uh, and judging by what's going on with the submission, I, I, I wasn't expecting a 10 there. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> there we go. This is uh, one that we pulled on the channel uh, out of 2022 Stadium Club Chrome. It's Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This is not Stadium Club Chrome. What am I talking about? This is uh, Bowman Heritage. Uh, I don't believe, I don't remember if we pulled this out of a pack on on the channel or if this was one that i had in my collection already but this is the uh the foil variation of bobby wood jr um this these look really good but again foils are really tough to gem up so we'll see what it gets got an eight holy crap okay yeah i don't know if i even should have sent that these these foils kind of like hfas and stuff like that and tops black golds they're really tough i mean you can look the card over and you could see it looks perfect uh no blemishes whatsoever but because of the foil for some reason they see something that we don't maybe with their technology they see stuff that we just don't some imperfections that we can't see with our eyes so that kind of stinks right there an eight <clears throat> all right here's a gunner henderson i believe this is just a regular chrome yeah from 2019 bowman draft i think it looked pretty good but who knows at this point got a 10 all right there we go i'll take a 10 on a gunner first All right, Jackson Holiday. Here's the second Chrome that I sent. I separated them in the submission just to see what it would get. Man, I can see there's there's a couple of issues up top here on this one that I don't remember being there. I do remember one being a really good 10 candidate and one probably being a 9. So this might have been the 9. But let's see. Oh, wow, got a 10. So two 10s there on the Jackson Holidays. I'll take that for sure. All right, there's two more to add. I got three Jackson Holiday Chrome 10s now in my collection. 
definitely take that. All right, here's an interesting one, and I'm not going to be surprised if it doesn't do well uh, at this point because it's paper and it's gold all around. But this is a Nelson Rada first paper uh, autograph from 2023, um, 2023 Bowman, number 22 out of 50 there. Uh, I've seen a couple of these um, that have been graded that got eights, so I'm not expecting a 10, but this one did look pretty good, so let's see. Got an eight, yeah. They're, they're so tough with these paper autographs from Bowman. Yeah, all right. All right, uh, four cards left. Here we go. All right, Victor Scott the second, another kind of up-and-comer here. Uh, this is his Mojo Auto from 2023 Bowman uh, Mega Box. It says uh, Bowman oh, Mega there. Mega box down there, you see it. Uh, Victor Scott, the second autograph on card, obviously. Mojo, not a first because these Mojo autographs aren't first, but let's see. A 10. All right, I'll take that. That's a that's actually a pretty good card to get a, a 10 on. Uh, he actually sells pretty well. All right, so our 10s are above our 9s. That's that's what we want. All right, sent a Victor Wembenyama. I believe this is, okay, this is from this year's Prism. Uh, Instant Impact, rookie. Nine, dang, okay. I didn't know what I was looking at here in terms of um, centering or anything like that, so I just decided it's a victor and I'd send it in. I was hoping to get it back quicker. Uh, his kind of cards are going down now because everybody's getting them graded, but that's not really good in a nine. Needed a 10 on that. Okay, so here is, uh, this is a pack This is a pack pull from, uh, from the channel here. This is the Bobby Witt Beam Team to 99 green out of Stadium Club Chrome. Nine, okay. Nine. Yeesh. Okay. Thought that would get a 10. I remember when we looked it over. I think we looked it over together and we didn't see it anything, right? Man, they're really tough. They've been really tough on me today. So we got to get a 10 here to uh, to even out the nines here. And this is a CJ Abrams. This is a really obscure one I wanted to send in. This is CJ Abrams. This is from Archives 2022 Archive Snapshots. It's a $25 product that guarantees an autograph. Got this um, C.J. Abrams rookie autograph out of it. Let's see what they do. I mean, this is a paper, but it's it's more of like a glossy paper stock, a little bit thicker. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a 55-point paper stock. So let's see what it gets here. An eight. Jeez, wow. That's rough. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. I mean, this thing looks perfectly centered. You can see from the back, the front, perfectly centered. Don't see any sort of dings on the corners. The corners are really sharp, and the paper, the 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 not the foil, but the uh, the glossy paper. I mean, it looks good. I don't see any blemishes at all. So I don't know what, what I'm looking at anymore. Uh, that's way too many eights for my liking, for sure, out of modern cards. Honestly, way too many nines and not enough tens. But maybe I am at my end of sending tens in uh, because I'm kind of just reaching at this point for $15 cards to send in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's what we got. I mean, it wasn't the best submission here, but uh, I'll still be able to make uh, make some money out of this for sure. Um, probably wind up cracking some of these out and just keeping them raw, uh, especially the eights because, you know, better off raw at that point. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Be back uh, next week, hopefully, with another 24-card reveal. Hopefully that one's going to be a little bit better than this one. I think it might be, actually. So uh, see you all then.